love. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. Israelites, I have done multiple videos on the kingdom of darkness fighting back. Because I have received numerous inquiries of Israelites being attacked by the kingdom of darkness, in addition, Israelites not knowing what they should do, led me to do a follow-up message to help those who are new to Open Diary, as well as the veteran subscribers on how to defend themselves against the kingdom of darkness. Please watch all the videos in the praying playlist as well as the spirit realm playlist. I have organized the videos to make it easy for you. Israelites, instead of saying you do not know what to do, spend time in the presence of the Most High. Ask the Most High to help you. After you pray, follow the guidance coming from the Holy Spirit. Israelites, you have to learn to seek the Most High for yourself. You cannot become dependent on other Israelites for answers or to solve your problems. You have to have your own relationship with Yah. It is important to know the Most High's voice. The individuals the Most High anointed to spread the word and to teach his people are there to do what the Most High anointed them to do. It is your responsibility to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The same way the Most High is revealing his truth to his anointed, he will do the same with any Israelite who is seeking him and wanting to serve him. You have to learn to work with the Most High. Israelites, you have to stop crying out to humans who cannot save you. Cry out to the Elohim of Israel. The Most High will respond to you if you diligently seek him. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. You must become independent from men in your spiritual journey and become dependent on the Most High. The pagan church have taught many of you to become dependent on the pastors and other religious leaders. In the awakening, you have to understand there should be no other gods before the Most High. If you do not want to be deceived, follow the Most High. The kingdom of darkness set up the churches for the people to follow men. By following religious leaders, it brings forth the sin of idolatry. When sin is present, it causes a barrier between you and the Most High, granting the kingdom of darkness the permission to influence you to do their will. The Most High hates the sin of idolatry. The sin of idolatry is giving Yah's glory to another. The Most High will not share his glory with a false god. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. This walk will be overwhelming if you try to do what only the Most High can make happen. Take the time to listen to the Most High Israelites. I post once a week to this channel and make the messages short and brief for a purpose. Any Israelite that is serious with their spiritual journey will humble themselves and make time for the Most High. In the hour we live in, you cannot afford to go one day without being in the presence of the Most High. The scriptures reveal to us men do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the Most High. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. If you are not spending time in the presence of the Most High, then you are malnourished. Your spirit do not have enough bread to operate properly. This is how the kingdom of darkness take advantage of your lack of knowledge and deceive you. Because you are malnourished, you are not aware of the presence of unclean spirits in your life. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness is supposed to attack you and fight back when their home is being threatened. The scriptures reveal to us that the unclean spirits refer to you as their house. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. 
when you try to evict spirits from their house, they're going to fight back. Israelites, you should expect opposition from the kingdom of darkness, especially when you know how to fight back properly. The unclean spirits is not going to sit back and watch you evict them from the body they call home for several years. Most people are possessed by multiple spirits for years and they are not aware. The kingdom of darkness thrive through our ignorance. As long as you do not know they are the cause to your downfall, the kingdom of darkness will continue to deceive you. In addition, influence you to carry out their will instead of the will of the most high in your life. Your body is the temple that housed the spirit of the most high. In order for any spirit to operate in the physical realm, the most high require the spirit to have flesh. For those who are not aware, we are spirits. Our spirits is housed in our human body. Our bodies have the ability to house multiple spirits. In order for the kingdom of darkness to successfully operate in the physical realm, they need you and me. That is the only way they can carry out their plans in the physical realm. The Most High gave us dominion in the physical realm. The unclean spirits must deceive you in order for them to get your permission to operate in the physical realm. The most popular disguise the unclean spirits love to use is to appear in the spirit realm with a familiar face or take on the likeness of a dead loved one. The spirit of poverty will not appear to you and make its real intention known. The spirit of poverty will take on the likeness of a member of your family or friend to deceive you. Whatever covenant made between you and the unclean spirit, it will manifest in the physical realm. In addition, give the unclean spirit the authority to refer to you as its house. This is why it is important to break every evil covenant made with unclean spirits in the spirit realm and the physical realm. To the Israelites who do not know where the spirit realm is located and how to get there, the spirit realm is a parallel world to this physical realm. That is where the Most High is located as well as the kingdom of darkness. When you sleep and you have dreams, the dream world is the spirit realm. What you're seeing is what is happening in the spirit realm concerning you, someone else, or the world. Some of the dreams you have come from the Most High, for the Most High said he would speak to us in a dream. God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. Satan is an imitator of the Most High. The tale series exists on this channel to reveal to you Satan's counterfeits. The kingdom of darkness will give you dreams to deceive and establish covenants. Another way a person dream is by self-imposed dreams. You can give yourself a dream. Many of you have been taking heed to the teachings on the spirit realm. Israelites are breaking the covenants made several years prior. Covenants such as poverty, backwardness, curses, and many more. Now that most of you are learning how to break covenants and you are increasing your knowledge on the spirit realm, you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Due to this threat, the kingdom of darkness is going to attack you to stop you from evicting them out of your life. When Satan and his angels attack, it appears as if your world is falling apart. If you stand firm, the unclean spirits have no choice but to flee from you. Israelites, you shouldn't be surprised at the amount of effort the kingdom of darkness put in to maintain their dominance in your life. What do you believe would happen when you evict a spirit that has been living comfortably in you for years? The unclean spirit is going to fight back. Satan and his angels are not going to sit around and watch you destroy them. The kingdom of darkness is going to do everything it can to keep its position in your life. When the kingdom of darkness attack, you must stand your ground and fight back. Do not run scared. The kingdom of darkness is under your feet. The Most High gave you power to tread down the kingdom of darkness and by no means can they hurt you. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Once you understand that you have power and the unclean spirits cannot harm you, you gain an advantage over the kingdom of darkness. The scriptures reveal to us that through knowledge will the just be delivered. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Knowledge is important on the battlefield. Israelites, when you begin to pray effective prayers, breaking covenants, fasting, you are at war. Most wars last several days, months, even years. 
The battle is won when one side surrender or is defeated. Make sure you are on the side that do not give up when the battle becomes intense. The scriptures reveal to us that we would reap if we faint not. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Many Israelites make the mistake of giving up when the kingdom of darkness is turning up the heat. Israelites, when the battle get intense, this is an indicator that you are at the core of the battle and your victory is near. A vital piece of information you need to understand. When the kingdom of darkness is attacking you repeatedly, the covenants made were broken and you have gained victory. Do not ever mistake the mishaps that take place in your life for defeat. Those setbacks and downfall are temporary. When your life starts to fall apart and the kingdom of darkness turn up the heat, the attacks are a form of intimidation by the homeless spirits trying to get you to submit to their will. Israelites, it is important not to submit to the intimidation and stand firm. You will certainly reap if you faint not. The attack is for a moment, but it will pass. Israelites, you have to continue to pray and fast. That is how you fight back properly. If you were expecting me to give you this elaborate method to stop the kingdom of darkness from attacking you, sorry. There is no quick fix when it comes to spiritual warfare. Prayer and fasting will get the job done. You have to continue to pray and fast until your change come. Do not let the kingdom of darkness deceive you into believing nothing is happening. A great battle is taking place behind the scenes. When an Israelite humbled himself or herself and made up their mind to serve the Most High, Yah will plead your case. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. The kingdom of darkness will always try to tempt you. As long as you are for the Most High, expect the kingdom of darkness to attack. Your job is to be prepared and stand firm. You do not need to donate thousands of dollars to a ministry to gain deliverance, nor do you need 50 million people praying for you. The Most High will deliver you. You have to be willing to trust the Most High when He is making Himself known and when He is silent. Be you know those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You cannot be at war with the kingdom of darkness and preparing to take your position on the battlefield and not know the word of the Most High. If you do not know the word, you are not prepared for battle. It is irresponsible and you are assisting Satan in your own demise. The word of Yah is your weapon to counter the attack against you. Israelites, you have to know the word of the Most High to establish the covenants needed to slay your enemies. The word of the Most High is sharper than any sword. It will destroy your enemies. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. To fight back, you must use the word of the Most High in prayer combined with fasting. The word of Yah is alive and powerful. When you use the word of the Most High, it activates your angelic helpers that surrounds you. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Your enemies are fighting you in the spirit realm. In addition, the kingdom of darkness is using workers of iniquity to attack you in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity are deceived people Satan used to come against the remnant of the Most High. The angels are spirits that dwell in the spirit realm. When you forge a covenant with the Most High by using His words, the angels can attack the unclean spirits oppressing you in the spirit realm. Israelites, when you are successful in the spirit realm, you will see the evidence in the physical realm. A good counterattack the kingdom of darkness used against Israelites who are declaring war on the kingdom of darkness, you will begin to forget your dreams. If you can't remember what is taking place in the spirit realm, you have no knowledge of the evil covenants established in the spirit realm. In addition, you are not hearing from the Most High. Due to you not breaking the evil covenants forged in the spirit realm, you will find yourself in bondage again. Another reason you are forgetting your dreams, witches and warlocks are casting spells to cause you to forget your dreams. The reason they do this, when they are afflicting you, they want to hide their identity, making sure you are unable to identify the person attacking you. Israelites, 
You would handle the attack on your dream life the same way you address any devil trying to oppress your life through prayer and fasting. Ask the Most High to restore your dreams. It is important, Israelites, that you do not share your dreams with everyone. Some dreams are meant to be private. Our channels are being monitored by the synagogue of Satan. They will use your lack of knowledge against you. If you do not know the meaning to your dreams, the workers of iniquity will be able to decode your dreams and interfere. It is wise not to share the revelation given to you with everyone, especially on social media. The workers of iniquity Satan is using to afflict you are usually close to you. Israelites, the scriptures reveal to us that if we submit to the Most High, resist the devils, they would flee from us. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Many Israelites are submitting to the Most High. You are praying, fasting, doing the best that you can to serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth. However, many of you do not know how to resist the devils. The kingdom of darkness gives you all kinds of imaginations to cause you to stray from the protection of the Most High. For example, let's say the spirit of lust has a stronghold on your life. You decide to pray and fast. Through the praying and fasting, the Most High delivers you from the stronghold the spirit of lust had on your life. Israelites, just because you gain victory over the spirit of lust, it does not indicate the battle is over. After the deliverance, the unclean spirit of lust will begin to tempt you to reestablish the old covenants. The spirit of lust will begin to give you perverted thoughts. If you have a crush, the spirit of lust will influence your crush to notice you. Invade your dream life with sexual dreams. All of this is an attempt for the spirit of lust to re-enter and oppress your life once again. The scripture said when an unclean spirit is cast out of a person, it goes looking for another home. If it cannot find a new home, it will return to where it was cast out of. In the case of this example, when you are having lustful thoughts, that is the spirit of lust visiting you. The Most High said for you to resist the devils and they would flee. When your crush wants to start a relationship, ask the Most High to reveal his or her heart to you. When the wet dreams come, cast it down by canceling the dream and rebuking the unclean devils. Do not entertain the perverted thoughts. Instead, counter it with the word of the Most High. Israelites, that is how you resist the devils. If you entertain the thoughts, you are forging covenants. Joseph resists Potiphar's wife's multiple attempt to lure Joseph into sin. Joseph resists the devil and he fulfilled his destiny. Likewise, Israelites, you have to resist. Do not submit to the kingdom of darkness fleshly desires. When you resist, the kingdom of darkness have no choice but to flee from you. The scriptures reveal the unclean spirits will continue to visit you. As long as you resist, they will flee. You will triumph over the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, do not be intimidated by the kingdom of darkness. Many attempts to control you. Remember, they are under your feet. As long as you're doing the will of the Most High, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. When the kingdom of darkness shoot an arrow at you, return the arrow back to the sender. You must understand, Israelites, that greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. 